call Hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and others of great millstone who rule well over the flock. Shalom, my salutation, you brothers out here pushing the words of truth and sincerity. Shalom. This video is just a faith booster on uh, keeping your head uh, low. Keeping your head low. Right? Why well, I say a faith booster? Because you got to have a certain amount of faith uh, now that I see, you know, the way the world is and whatnot. You got to have a certain amount of faith to uh, just have a natural low haircut, you know, um, especially if you used to having your hair long, used to having your hair braided up, used to going through hours to getting your waves, used to keeping a do-rag on it, all right, you used to uh, getting that perfect line up, you're used to trimming it up every day before you go out the, you know, out the shower, while you before you go in the shower or whatever, you, you, you put spending all the finest products on it. All right, you trying to get that glow back, that soul glow. All right, everybody in your in your family got beautiful, luxurious hair. Even the men, you might be coming from that examples that was set, and now you gotta lead by example by just trimming your hair. Hey, well, that's a faith booster, man. You know, and um, I myself, I, I went through two phases of braids, coming in from when I first came into camp, and later on, uh. Years later, I had braids again. I cut them off. I see brothers recently cutting their braids off. These is all faith boosters, man. You know, and um, Jake, the scriptures basically is where we getting this information from. Not to have long hair. The scriptures is where we getting this information from that you can't. You're not supposed to have dreadlocks. Yeah, it got the word locks in it, and so does the Bible have the word locks. But the Bible's locks are not talking about dreadlocks. Before they was called braids, they were called locks. That's just an ancient word for them. It's locking your hair up. But you could take it out and wash it. Furthermore, this, Jake, when you ain't a part of this truth or a part of this fold, and you ain't return back to the ways of old and the paths of old, which are right, which are more wiser than these paths, you do like whatever the heathen do, and you do whatever you do with thou wilt. And so now this is a chapter in 2 Samuel's I had to bring out. 2 Samuel's 1, where we at? 10 and 1. I'm just going to read through down to 5. It says, And it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died, and Hanun his son reigned in his stead. Then David said, I will show kindness unto Hanun the son of Nahash, as his father showed kindness unto me. And David sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants of his, for his father. And David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. And the prince, this is what happens when we try to be friends with the other nations and their children. You might have been cool with, uh, you know, it might have been an Edom, uh, Edomite who your fathers got along with. You know, your father lived in the same town and years ago he got, you know, your father in this Edomite, whatever. Or your father in this Ammonite was cool. And then their son, their lineage, it don't pass down the same way. See, they don't got any um, anything that in their law or in their way of life that says because my father was good, cool with you and okay with you, I will be okay with you. So that's one way to look at this situation when you're dealing with other nations. Just because your parents was cool and had a nice little time of uh, integration with these people doesn't mean that the children of these people is going to treat you like their parents their parents treated your parents let's go on it says and david sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants for his father and david's servants came into the land of the children of ammon this is verse uh slaki verse three i'm reading and the princes of the children of ammon said unto hanun their lord thinkest thou that david doth honor thy father that he hath sent comforters unto thee hath not David rather sent his servants unto thee to search the city and to spy it out and to overthrow it? They got in his head. Wherefore Hanun took David's servants, verse 4, and shaved off the half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. So he completely uh, humiliated them, right? By cutting, what it say? Shaved off half of their beds. Went, verse 5. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them. Because the men, 
were greatly ashamed. The king said, tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. Whew. And, the, and when the children of Ammon saw that they stank before David, the children of Ammon sent and hired the Syrians of Betharab and the Syrians of Zoba, 20,000 footmen, and of King Maka, a 1,000 men, and of Ishtab, 12,000 men. So they got armed up after they seen. But the point here is they shaved off half of their beards, cut the garments down the middle, exposed their ass, and this says, verse 5, that because the men were greatly ashamed, the king said, tarry at Jericho, a whole other city, until your beds be grown and then return. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is, check this video out. This is a Jake that don't know this is a shameful thing. Oh, y'all going to do me like that. I'm gonna do me like that. Let's see if I can find this man real quick. Woo! I got the perfect video. Lord willing, I can find it. And even if I don't find it, I'm gonna continue on because I know exactly. Because the video, I'm gonna have to explain it. I ain't gonna find it. The video is with uh, Jake talking about. Yeah, I ain't gonna find it. The video is about a Jake talking about I'm the only nigga in the city with half his beard and then I shave the other half. So this dude was bragging about how he got one beard shaved and the other beard I ain't gonna find it. And the other beard is good. And he was bragging about it. He said, I'm the only nigga in the city with like this. But he don't know, according to the Bible, the men of Israel that's a shameful way to look even to the point where David had to send these men out of the city until they bed grew back so the customs of the day are very uh, retarded uh, actually against manliness actually against order and actually very shameful customs that we might have and pretend like it's cool because we in a generation that accepts it if entire people accept, uh, let's say, uh, threesomes, or uh, what they call on, um, it's been so long since I even said this word, uh, I forget what it's called, when a group of orgies, that doesn't mean make it right, man. If the entire country accepts homosexuality as they embrace it, man, they embrace that, man. They embrace an eight-year-old child coming out and say he he gay. Um, that doesn't make it any more right. Matter of fact, it's still as wicked as the day it happened. You had a whole five cities that was down with that movement, and the Lord destroyed them. So you're supposed to understand the wrath of the Heavenly Father, making him upset. Now it's actually a law how you're supposed to deal with your deal with your hair on your head. Leviticus 19 and 27: Ye shall not round the corners of your beds. Neither shall ye make more the corners of your, of your bed. It's like ye shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shall you mar the corners of your bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hair naturally grows. What are the things that we do to it? We, we line it up in the society. Which the ancient Egyptians was into makeup. But they also balded their heads. But we lining them up. We're not supposed to be lining up our beds. That's actual law. Lining them up. You know how you put a line all around your hair, every part of your hair, to make it square in this part and some you ain't supposed to be doing all of that. That's all like um superfluity. That's all extra. That's all um effeminate waste, man. You know, real men, you think they was worried about they was worried about catching an arrow. They was worried about catching a sword. We're not worried about no hair follicles, man. Leviticus 21 and 5. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Again, the Egyptians, notably, most famous for their bald head, shaving off all of their hair. Michael Jordan and all types of jakes do that today. Bald their head. You might have like a fading hairline or what you call it. 
and you scared to grow it because you feel like you look like an old man, to hell with that, man. Elijah was, was balding. The children came up to him and mocked him and called him, you bald head, or go away to our bald head. And he put a curse upon him and two she bears came and slaughtered, mutilated, uh, I believe 50 children around that number. Um, Ezekiel 44 and 20 talks about the priests. All right, Levitical priests, sons of Zadok. It said, neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow long. So they must have at one point been shaving their heads bald and some of them were allowing their braids to grow long. Long, long, long. It says, and they they shall pull their heads. And you will look that word up. Pull is just an old English word. As you see here, verse 20. Pull means to cut. You see right here. Cacum. Cut, trim, share. Cacum. Uh, Cacum in the... Um, some actually to cut trim so the Levitical priest is supposed to just trim their beard meaning it doesn't get too low and it doesn't get too long that's just how you deal with your hair man it don't get too long and it don't get too low so you can't pull your hair that don't mean they was lining they self up man putting three cuts in their eyebrow trying to wild out um and then basically it says the opposite about a beard you want to grow your hair, grow your beard. Because obviously the beard is going to grow a lot slower than the hair on top. Psalms 133 and 2. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment. Peep that. How long was Aaron's beard? It went all the way down to his garment. I don't know how tall Aaron was. but that was, I'm sure he was a lot bigger than the men around today. He had a long bed, and however he might have braided it up, folded it up, or rocked it out, froed it up, he it was on his bed. A man's hair shouldn't look like that, you know. A man's top, your top of your head ain't supposed to be like that. So, uh, let's see if I could. Uh, that was it on that. Um, let's see if I can find that scripture. Real quick before I leave Cause you know another thing that had me thinking about this right here You know all the rappers Basically it's pushed for You Israelite men to have long hair All your favorite rappers man This dude Lil Yachty Waka Flocker he was this guy. Wiz Khalifa, Tiger um, I think this Russ This is Omarion This is J J. Cole Uh Two chains, right? Now I was watching Wale. Look at these guys' hair, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Man. So I was watching an interview with this dude. I think it's two chains. I can't tell. Um, and they was uh that all oh, the whole time his hair was in the mic and it was just clouding the sound. And they had to keep pulling his hair back and putting the mic over here. And they just didn't want to tell him, put your hair behind your head up. Can you tie your hair up? Because it kept messing with the mic. The, all, everybody else doing the interview ain't had them problems. They had short hair. That's just one thing. That might be a small thing, but that just proves we ain't supposed to be having that long hair. Now, how about this? Oh, man, where is it? Check this out. This is an interview with uh, Lil Bow Wow. Watch this. What? Yeah, Channel Zero. With now, this is when he was a, a little boy. Watch how the interview talked to him. Yeah, Channel Zero with little Bow Wow. How you doing? Look at her. She's so cute. Girl, you so... Hey. Are you... Uh, are you for... Oh, he is... <laughs> he dope. Hey, what's up with you, man? Nothing. Hey, you got, you got the freestyle flows? He called her a girl. He didn't realize that was a boy. What? Yeah, Channel Zero with little Bow Wow. How you doing? Look at her. She's so cute. Girl, you so... Hey. Are you, uh, are you for, oh. Somebody said, he said, look at her, she's so cute. Somebody said, that's a nigga, man. <laughs> Yo, because they got this long hair, man. And I remember a chick used to think, call me, say I look like Lil Bow Wow. 
all, instantly I started growing my hair and getting braids. Man, I was like, I'm gonna run with this. Man, you can't you can't let society regulate what you're gonna do with yourself and what you're gonna do, and then especially go against the laws. Follow not a multitude to do evil. You can't, you can't be out here doing all of that, man. Worrying about your hair looking out here looking like women, man. Um. See, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, First Corinthians 11 and 14 says, Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. If a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. All right, and I would believe that the nature itself will be. Even in the animal planet. How many animals are here with these long hair, man? Alright? It's not a lot, man. You can't find a lot. Most animals got this short hair situation going on. The baddest fighter animals got the short hair situation going on. You got a lion and the lion's mane. But that only goes so far. You know? Um, Yeah, man. Nature is self-teach you as well. Because when you're in a war... A man could grab you by your hair. Look at Absalom. Absalom was um, running. All right, he was fleeing the scene, and is on a horseback, and his hair was caught in some trees, and they killed him right there while the, where the, where his, he got caught with his hair. If you in a fight with another, how do women fight? They grab each other's hair. After they, they if they can't fight, they just grab hair, and then it becomes a game of grabbing hair, twisting it up, pulling it out. All right. All right. So that was it. Lord willing, this video is edifying. Till next time, inshallah.